Ashlyn's Rainbow Room here. Today I'll be showing you the little Pegasus that I made. Yay! <laughs> so it took a while to make. The baby one took about one week, but then the adult one took about two weeks. So I'll double it with the baby one. It'll be about two weeks. So yeah. Okay. So let me show you in a little more um detail here so so the adult i used a lot more main pieces okay but for the baby the baby i only use a single okay so yeah <laughs> she's so big the adult is super duper big. <laughs> yeah. Goodness gracious. And as you can see, I had to make a lot of feathers. Like over a hundred feather per wing. <laughs> yeah. Wing bent. The wing bent is about two feet. So the wings yeah, are two feet. Okay. The whole unicorn. To its tip of its snout, to its tip of its tail, it's about four, two feet probably. Should be more than two feet, but yeah. Okay. So yeah. Okay, I'll only keep it in the single for a while. But I did put wire in the adult, so you can pose her. Okay. But she can't exactly stand yet, so yeah. I probably gotta stick two wires through the back legs so she can actually stand. But for the front legs, one wire was enough. So, yeah, I gotta stick a wire through the wings too. But for the baby, it was okay. Yeah, just one wire was okay. Okay, let me get the baby out of the way for now. took me a while to make like I was gonna give up because it was way too hard but I but I tried and tried and I was finally able to make it sound but um how I say it kind of sounds easy but it's really not that easy okay so it was a nine part tutorial nine part video and this design was created by Courtney Nicole yay make sure to check out her channel also, the baby unicorn was designed by Courtney Nicole as well, okay? So, um, I used 12 gauge wire f um, to um, wire them up, okay? So, yeah. So, in part one, we made the wings. On part two, we made, I think, the head. Probably. Yeah. Let me grab my failed head. So right over there. This the okay. Failed head. Here we go. <laughs> so this is a failed head. I didn't like the color. It looked way too weird. Okay. Throw it over here. <laughs> I just hate that head. I do not like it at all. Okay, so, uh, part two, we made the head, and on part three, we made the neck and the mane, okay? And then on, on part three, I'm sure we, I think, I think on part three, we did the mane. And then the neck. Oh, so yeah, I'm kind of mixed up here. But on part four, we did the hooves. Did the hooves here. And we also did the front leg, okay? The two front legs. All right. I have this little, um, little necklace.
chocolate um, bracelet here. And it was supposed to be the necklace for the adults, but then it didn't look too good, so right now I have it as a decoration here. Okay? So in part four, we, part five, we made her back legs. Okay? So this is her back legs. And then on part six, we started to do the front torso. And yeah, and then for the, we did it for the front legs and the wing. Um, we on part six, we did that. Yeah. <laughs> on part seven, we did the back torso. Okay. Um, we also put loose bands to sew sides together, but, um, we did the back torso on part seven for the back legs. Okay, on part eight. On part eight. Yeah, that was part eight. Getting mixed up. Okay, so that was part eight. Sorry. Oh, okay. On part nine, which is a final. Part nine, we did the stomach. So Courtney Nichols, she does like a stomach attachment for like all her dragons and poodles, like she always does that type of stomach attachment. So, yeah, and then I also stuffed her with cotton, okay? Also fiber filled it, but yeah. Yeah, I both stuffed them too. I stuff, I also stuff the legs, okay? So I hope you guys are going to um, make these unicorns too. Don't forget to check out Courtney Nichols' channel. Bye, everyone.